Some die-hard Cowboys fans camping out at AT&T Stadium would prefer a warmer, drier forecast. Dan let them down on that. But they're not intense, at least. They, won't, they don't want to be cooped up in their RVs until the uh, game gets going tomorrow with the Giants. Fox 4 Davidson Tendry is at the stadium in Arlington with more on the excitement that is building even with the rain that's been falling. David. Yes, yeah, Steve, I'm at AT&T Stadium with an umbrella in my hand because right now the rain is coming down. We can hear some thunder in the distance. We've seen scattered showers throughout the evening, and these fans have been having to deal with it, but some don't really seem to mind it. Just about two minutes ago, I saw a gentleman walking two dogs as he walked right behind me. He didn't have a hat on. He didn't have an umbrella with him. He was just enjoying getting wet. Most people have taken shelter inside their RVs or under tents, but it's safe to say that right now people are ready for an early start to Thanksgiving football. A day before Thanksgiving, Cowboys fans are singing the blues. Giants, you got nothing to be thankful for. While hoping New York Giants fans will be feeling the blues Thursday. That's what the Giants gonna have tomorrow. A whole lot of blues. People with RVs are tailgating a day early for the Thanksgiving Day game at AT&T Stadium. So what they gonna do? Destroy the Giants. She said they gonna destroy the Giants, and we gonna be right here to have a good, thankful, Thanksgiving and watch our boys eat that turkey leg. While fans like Grady Champion hope the Cowboys will be eating celebratory turkey after a win, they're eating their meals in the parking lot before the game. We're gonna drop that big old turkey off in there. We're gonna have the turkey deep down and just ready. Turkey for sweet potato pie. It's not a traditional setting for a Thanksgiving meal. Still, you're relaxed. You know, you've got nowhere to go and nowhere to be. You are there. These fans say it's the place to be. Whether it rains, windy, doesn't matter. Mike Nary even brought a newcomer with him from El Paso. What's her name? Lola. I'm guessing Lola does not have a ticket for the game. No, she does not. This <laughs> is actually her first time. It's also the first time for nine year old Jet Martin and his younger brother, Jackson. Lucky for them. Their father says they have tickets to the game. First NFL live football game, so they're excited. We're all having a good time enjoying America's team. It's quite a buildup to the event. Nary says Thanksgiving is all about togetherness. Family. It's a gathering, right? Fellow early bird fans agree. You saw outside people singing and dancing and having a good time. But they say the holiday will be a whole lot sweeter. Look out, Jack! If a Cowboys win, is on the menu for dessert. Ain't that what Muhammad Ali say? I float like a butterfly and I sting like a Dallas Cowboy. You better watch out. <laughs> and some of the people who have these RVs out here tell me one of the best parts is that they don't have to leave after the game tomorrow. They will enjoy the game, enjoy celebrating after the game, and then they can spend the night here and safely leave the next day. So obviously Thanksgiving tomorrow 